hello guys and welcome back to modern swahili so today we're going to be making a basic kachumbari i hope you guys enjoy it so what we're going to need today is three tomatoes and three onions and then we have five tablespoons of vinegar and then we have three tablespoons of salt and we're going to jump straight ahead and start chopping our onions and guys please chop your onions into very thin slices just like you see what i'm doing um, I enjoy thin slices in kachumbari because it just makes it taste so much better and you're gonna enjoy it You just don't want to be biting into big chunks of onions You can also go ahead and cut them into round forms. This is just to enhance the Presentation of the kachumbari nothing much either way whichever way you choose just be careful of your knife so let's go ahead and place them in our water which we had the vinegar and salt in and soak for maybe 30 minutes or until you're done cutting your tomatoes. So let's go ahead and take the top of the tomatoes and our tomatoes we're also gonna try as much as we can to get very thin slices from the tomatoes because it just makes the kachumbari taste much better and this is the kind of thin slices you're gonna be going for guys. So perfect, let's go ahead, be careful of the knife and just keep cutting as thin as you can and yeah, this is what we're going for, beautiful. So, and I'm gonna show you a simple trick and the trick is that when you're doing a kachumbari, you don't want a soggy kachumbari, you want a kachumbari which is crunchy and it's gonna taste amazing and you don't wanna be eating a kachumbari and a soup. So we're gonna go ahead and keep slicing the uh, tomato until we reach to the part where we can see the seeds. And then we're gonna go and take all the seeds out of the tomato. Get rid of the seeds and then you're just gonna have the flesh of the tomato. So beautiful, just take all the seeds out and it's now just gonna be an empty tomato. And we're gonna go ahead and just keep cutting thin slices. This is just gonna make, it's just gonna level up your kachumbari to a different level. It's not gonna be soggy, it's not gonna have a lot of water, and it's just gonna give it a more crunchy taste and more crunchy feeling. We want to go ahead and wash our onions which we had soaked and please run them into a water until they're no longer tasting sour or bitter and then just go ahead and add them into the tomatoes and grab a half a lime and let's go and squeeze the lime juices into the kachumbari mixture so just like that beautiful you see why we got rid of the water because we were gonna add some lime into it too so let's grab one teaspoon of salt and just throw it in there i normally use kosher salt but you can use whichever salt you like and then just give it a good mix mix it all up and there you go quick easy simple and you can have this with anything guys this is one of my favorite salads when i make at home everybody just wants to eat it you can eat it anytime so there you go i hope you enjoyed please leave a comment and don't forget to subscribe to my channel thank you